Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? For falling asleep like that. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm just glad you decided to stay. Spend the time with me. Well, it wasn't much company. No, no. But awfully nice to look at. <clears throat> Your grandfather called again, sir. He'll be back soon. Thank you, Dennings. Dennings, wait. The other day, I accused you of... Oh, sir, you were upset. Uh, yes, but well, I... Perfectly understandable. I realize that, but I never should have doubted that. No, no, sir, really, there's no need. Dennings, please. For the first time in my life, let me apologize. I was wrong. Yes, sir. Uh, very good, sir. Yes, well... well. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I'm happy for you. I know what it means to find out your grandfather's innocent. You don't know. You can't. <laughs> In the middle of the night, where are you getting all this energy? I don't know. It's just not every day you find out what we found out. Oh, Evie, it looked so bad there for a while. I know. But Hobbs confessed to everything. The murders and the payroll robbery. It's wonderful. I'm not so sure wonderful is the right word. Uh, the relief is wonderful. Grandfather. Harry, Evie, are you all right? Yes, yes, the end is finally over now. It's buried for good. Search for Tomorrow is brought to you by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty absorbs so fast it gets spills before they get away. Easy there, easy! Let's go! Easy! Oh I can't let go, can I? You don't throw a beautiful catch like this back you to me. You are not a cat! Oh. That was not a very nice thing to do. Would you listen to me? I need your help. Is that right? I've, I've been kidnapped. I'm a prisoner on this boat. Then your mother had to teach you to say please when you ask for help. Please. That's better. Now, you and me, we're going to have a very good time if you act sweet like Stay that. Stay away from me. Or you can act like that. 
and I'll have a good time all by myself. Kill you. Go ahead and try. A little fight would be a nice warm-up. Oh, God! Come on. Go! That's the spirit, you oh, suck, oh, man! Oh. She's a lady! Now, come on, man! What's wrong with you? I want you to apologize to the little lady, all right? Now, is this your kidnapper, is it? But he's welcome to you. And good luck, miss. Because you're going to need it. Yeah. You all right? Am I supposed to thank you? Am I supposed to be impressed? I'm sure you won't. Well, then you'd surely be right. Because I wouldn't be on this godforsaken boat with the likes of him if you, it weren't for you. You don't think I know that? Well, you may have me trapped now, but it won't last. You'll not be getting me past the authorities in America as easily as you did in Ireland. Well, I'll deal with that when the time comes. Your head. Is too much pain? I'll live. Then I didn't hit you hard enough. Listen, as much as you'd hate to admit it, you're damn lucky that I showed up when I did. I don't need you. Well, if you were six inches tall and 80 pounds heavier, maybe, but you're not and you do. I don't need brute strength to get me out of here. Oh, really? Well, you don't have any money? And the captain's been paid off? And all those sailors that follow orders, they're gonna steer away from you. But the ones who don't, they have the same thing on their minds as your friend there. Oh, you're a smug one. And I hate more than a smug man. Oh, really? Well, I think you're smart enough to know that we're going to have a real tough trip if you don't stay close to me, right? Thank you. Thank you for getting me into this grand situation. It's no problem. You know I'm right, right? Don't you? Don't you? Hi there. Hegby. I got a little surprise for you. Look at this. Oh. I can walk. A little wobbly. Oh. I can walk. Oh. What about that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. I can walk and you can talk. <laughs> Mom! Oh, no, no, no! Don't you do that! Oh. Oh. You're right. Oh. You're right. The doc said. The doc said take it easy. Come on, you come sit down. I certainly will. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh. Thank God. Okay. Mom, I had to tell you. We found Joe. It was Hobbs. All along, it was Hobbs. It was Hobbs who was in that car that hit us. Hobbs kidnapped Joe. She had her up on the roof of the. Uh, she tried to put her up, push her off. And then the Dutch showed up. And he was talking to her, getting her to talk so that we could. But Joe's okay. But what about Stu? Stu's fine, too. But Hobbs... Mom, I shot her. I was just, I was just trying to knock the gun out of her hand, but she lost her balance and she went over. It was the impact. What I think you need is a little sleep. Sleep. <laughs> right. Cops don't sleep, Mom. Let's do paperwork. So, goes to the doctor, I go here. I don't know, is it late or is it early? Well, you came to the right place. <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait, I, I, I wanted to... One more thing. I did, Hobbs admitted something when she was talking to the judge. What? She stole the payroll. No. Yes. So she was not only responsible for Susie, she's responsible for Dad, too. She's responsible for Dad's death. All over.
over. I'm sorry. I know. If I just stopped to think, I would have realized you Terry, never... I, I understand. You do? I mean, Ella Hobbs and I worked so closely together that, that some of the evidence pointed to me. I never thought about Hobbs, just you. You see, people in the law, they realize how misleading evidence can be. It's, uh, it's quite seductive. Hobbs always seemed so officious. You never think about somebody like that as a murderer. Well, there was so much of Ella that we, we, we never saw. She, she only let us see what she wanted to do. I guess so. She cared very deeply. Too deeply. She was crazy. Sorry. She was sick, and she cared very deeply for this family. Yeah, but... I guess you're right. I'm sorry. Well, maybe you'll learn not to judge so quickly, so severely. That's what Evie's been saying all along. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Matter of fact, on the phone, Jerry said that you had been the voice of reason throughout this whole ordeal. I just tried to help. Well, I, I want to thank you for everything. Well, I'm glad I could help if I did. Well, you did. You helped a lot. I don't know how I would have gotten through this without her. Jerry, I just listened. You did a lot more than that. Made me realize that that was the one thing I got right. Right? I'm asking Evie to marry me. Jerry! Now all we have to do is get her to say yes, and I'll be the happiest man in the world. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard you. That's why I'm going to get all this paperwork tied up. I want to clear Dad's name right away. What? <laughs> maybe it was a, a, sh a shock or something. I, I, maybe I shouldn't have blurted it out like oh, this. Oh, no, no, it's all right. Isn't it great? We're finally going to clear Dad's name after all these years. It's late, I know. It's too late. But, but it, it, it's something. Yes, it's something. And, and it's going to be good for Quinn, too. Hogan, but mainly for Quinn. Have you heard from them? Hogan and Quinn? Well, I've heard of them. Evie, she called Ireland for me earlier. How are they? Are they okay? Yeah. Hogan and Patty were in jail. In jail? Oh. Just some misunderstanding. They'll be out soon. And Quinn? No, nothing. Well, when Hogan and Patty get out, they'll find him. Yes. It's a shame they went away at all when all the answers are right here in Henderson. Oh. Where are you going? Oh, get that paperwork done, so I want to get myself some coffee first. Oh, no, what? No? What? Why don't you let me make you a fresh coffee? Oh, well, you don't have to do that, that Mom. That's Come on, a... why don't you go upstairs and uh, change, put on a fresh shirt? <laughs> now I know you're getting better. Mm -hmm. Order me around again, eh? <laughs> you... Oh. It's better, Mom. It's all better. It's all over, too. All over. <laughs> you proposed to Evie? That's right. Well, when did this happen? Before. Before all this stuff. So I guess there wasn't a good time to tell you. I, I see. I haven't accepted yet. I don't know if Jerry made that clear. No, not exactly. I'm not certain about my feelings. I think we need to spend more time together. Of course. I know how close you and Jerry are. I don't want to cause any trouble between you. You think it might? I don't know. I do think you and I should get some things straight between us. Go on. I know you don't approve of me. Oh, now, Evie... It's okay. Jerry told me about your ultimatum. He shouldn't have. No, it's all right. I know that's because of all the bad blood between the McCleary's and the Hendersons. But now that feud is over, right? I should hope so. And we can put all the bad feelings behind us for good. Evie. I think it would be a good idea if when Quinn and Hogan get back from Ireland, I'll... you all get together and talk it all out. Well, that, that, that would be a good idea. I'm glad you think so. The McCleary's are very important to me. 
They've been very good to me. Yes, I know. There's one more thing I want you to know. I'm not a hanger-on. I'm my own person, and I want to be judged that way. Will you accept my apologies? Of course. Good. My grandson is impetuous, but his taste is impeccable. I look forward to knowing you better. Well? Well, what? Aren't you going to bind and gag me? It would be an appropriate punishment, wouldn't it? I'm not punishing you. Well, I did try to escape. I defy your authority. Look, you remember the uh, wash basin over here? Do you want me to drown myself? I was feeling a little grungy. I thought maybe you felt the same way. <sighs> Look, I didn't want it to turn out this way. Then let me go home. I can't. You mean you won't? Look, go. Uh, forgot we haven't eaten. Start. Uh, I'll get some more food. This time I'll remember to eat. McCleary, aren't you forgetting something? I think I'll stop by and talk to Kate for a bit. Fill her in. Good morning, Evie. It, it was lovely talking to you. Wow. That was some number you pulled. Jerry, When you started I... in on him, I was a little nervous, but then I realized it was just the right thing to do. He likes it when people stand up to him. I said what I thought. It's a wonderful tactic. I'll have to remember it sometime. You are wonderful. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to tell me you were thinking about? Jerry, I, I want to take this slow. I know. I know. Just tell me one thing. What? What about Quinn? Susie told me something. The night she died, she said I was young and I should enjoy life. Well, that's what I'm going to do. And that means don't carry a torch for someone who doesn't know you exist. Whatever there was between Quinn and me, it's over. Quinn will just have to find someone else to help him get rid of his demons. I wish him luck. Well, there's a hearty meal.
was just looking at the clock. I think I'll take that coffee with me if I you don't. I thought you might change your mind. Well, you're reading my mind now, are you? <laughs> Here. Okay. Cagney? Yeah? I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'll see you later. No. You've been hurt enough, especially Quinn. You don't know what you're saying. You know what could happen I if know. you tell. I know. But that's a chance I'm just going to have to take. 